Hello and welcome to a beginner-friendly yin yoga class. In yin yoga, we will be holding these postures longer than in a standard yoga class. All levels welcome, no props needed. Just roll out your mat, put on something comfy, and we will get right into it. Begin in Shavasana, so making your way onto your back, legs out long, arms out wide, take up space if you have it. Start to let your weight sink into the mat, relax through your neck, your shoulders, your hips. close down your eyes take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth releasing any tension in your body once more together inhale fill up your stomach when you're ready exhale it out with a loud sigh let go of anything on your mind Let's take a moment to set an intention for our practice today. It could be anything you want to cultivate, healing, gratitude, presence. You can dedicate your practice to someone who needs the positive energy. Just take a moment to do that now. This grounding into this moment Finding some space, some relaxation. And when you're ready, we will get into our first yin yoga posture. It should be child's pose. So just make your way into a tabletop position. No rush throughout this class. Please take your time, moving with your eyes closed if you're comfortable. So you want to bring your big toes together, knees go wide and sink your hips back onto your heels, knees are separated here. We will begin by having our arms out long. Gently resting your forehead on the mat, allowing your entire body to relax. We're getting a nice hip stretch here, as well as your back, letting any tension go. If you wish to have a little more rounding in your spine, you have the option of bringing your knees together and then your arms out long beside you, finding a gentle rounding in your spine. You could try them both out and see what feels best. And you find your shape today. We want to return to stillness. That is one of the main tenets of yin yoga. We are practicing absolute stillness if we can. Now that can be quite challenging. It's a challenge for me every single time. Sometimes I do better at it. Sometimes not so much. It's important that we show up. A world filled with constant movement and busyness. Finding a moment of stillness can be a true gift. Yin yoga invites us to slow down, sink deep into the poses, and discover profound relief for both our bodies and minds. Now, unlike dynamic and active yoga styles, yin yoga focuses on longer held poses, typically ranging from two to five minutes or even longer. Today, we'll be holding each pose for around two minutes. 
surrendering to that present moment, allowing the body to release tension and tightness over time. And while yin may appear simple, its effects are anything but. By holding these poses, we tap into the deeper layers of connective tissue, joints, and fascia, creating space and a benefit is improved flexibility. The slow and gentle approach enhances our physical mobility, but can also bring the profound mental and emotional benefits. We're tapping into our breath here. And when any thoughts come up, that's normal. We just try not to get carried away. And if we notice that we are, we return the focus to our breath. Taking one more deep breath in this pose. Beautiful. We'll slowly make our way out. Sending your arms out long if they're not there already. And slowly push yourself up to a seated position, tall spine. Drop your shoulders away from your ears, close down your eyes. And just observe how you feel. Are there any changes? Was it a challenge for you to stay there? Don't judge anything that comes up. We're just noticing it. Okay. Our next pose is butterfly pose or baddha konasana. So find a seated position on your bottom. Bring the soles of your feet together and you let your knees fall out to the sides. Creating a diamond like shape with your legs. And we want a tall spine to begin. Again, think of drawing your belly button towards your spine. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale up nice and tall. And exhale. You want to hinge forward from your hips, allowing your upper body to fold forward towards your feet. You can take hold of your feet with your palms, your ankles, your arms could be reaching past your legs. You want to find a comfortable edge, somewhere you can breathe deeply. Now, you don't need any props for this, but if you feel any intense tightness in your hips, this maybe feels like a lot. If you have some pillows around, you can place them under your knees for support. You could use blocks or books, whatever you have nearby. And when you find your shape, we return back to that stillness, deep breathing. A regular yin yoga practice offers a multitude of physical benefits that can also enhance your overall well being. You can experience improved flexibility, increased circulation, certainly enhance relaxation improve energy flow, better sleep, release of tension, better posture, and increase mobility as well. So incorporating this into your routine is just packed with huge benefits. Whether you're just getting into yoga, you want to increase mobility, longevity, or maybe you do a lot of strength training, you're an athlete, it's great for recovery as well. So just embracing the gentle and nourishing practice of yin yoga just unlocks a world of benefits, both physically and mentally. But of course, it's not easy to sit here in stillness. It can bring up a lot of emotions. No, that's normal. 
Just try and sit with it and breathe through it and commit to doing a certain number of yin classes to see what you get from it. Maybe it's, you know, not for you and that's okay. But you never know what's on the other side of dedication to a practice like this. It could just change your whole perspective. Take one final breath here, filling up your stomach. And exhale, let it go. You can sigh it out. Beautiful. Very, very slowly. You're going to push your way up to a tall spine and make your way on to your back. Again, moving mindfully, you can keep your eyes shut. When you arrive, just take a moment. How do you feel now? What's changed? What came up for you? Not judging, just observing. Okay. Bending at your knees, hug your legs into your chest. Give yourself a tight squeeze, rock your legs from side to side. Inviting in some blood flow to the area, getting a nice massage for your hips. We are going to set up for a twist. This will target our back. Inhale in and exhale. Let your legs drop to the right side of your mat. Your legs do not need to be stacked here. Finding your depth here. You want to think of drawing both shoulder blades down to the mat. Now your left shoulder will want to lift off. Think of drawing it back towards the mat. Even if you have to come out of the twist a little bit or you can place something underneath your knees. Again, pillows, blocks, books. Anything you can grab, blankets. And your left shoulder doesn't have to be meeting the ground yet. Just think of working on that as the momentum you're trying to get to. Now, if it feels okay in your neck, you can begin to gaze out to the left side of your mat. We hold a lot of tension in our backs, shoulders. This is one that unfolds over time. Super, super important to release the tension in this area. This is another place, hold a lot of emotions, a lot of tension. So giving it this little bit of time to release is incredibly important and just has massive benefits for you in your life. With flexibility, posture, pain relief. So dropping into this moment, breathing through any strong feelings that come up. It's always important to remember if you have any sharper shooting pain, nothing should be painful. You've either gone too far if that's happening or maybe you need to take a break or avoid a posture altogether. There can be feelings of discomfort, but not pain. One final breath here, filling up your stomach. 
and releasing it out with a sigh when you're ready. Beautiful. On your next inhale, use the strength of your core to bring your legs back up to center. Drop your soles to the mat. Windshield wipe your legs back and forth to release that tension. You can hug your legs in once you're ready. And we will even it out by going to the other side. So when you're ready, everyone has their legs in. Inhaling. And on our exhale, dropping your legs to the left side of the mat. If you're following me, if not, just do the side you haven't done yet. Now this time, thinking of drawing our right shoulder down to the earth. Again, it doesn't need to be there. It's working on that momentum. Legs do not need to be stacked. You will feel it when you're in the right place. Again, letting this posture unfold over time. So working on finding that stillness, such an invaluable practice. That stillness takes center stage here. So we really learn is transformative power. It's all about surrendering. Creating space for our body and mind to find solace and release. Tapping deeper into our inner selves. Cultivating a heightened awareness of our breath, our bodies. And that heightened awareness can become a gateway to self-discovery and self-acceptance. It's an opportunity to observe and not engage with any of the feelings that come up. We just focus on returning to our breath. This allows us to be present with whatever arises in our lives getting to the point where we can let it pass through us without any clinging or resistance. Extending this practice of non-attachment and acceptance beyond our yoga mats. Allowing it to help us in our daily lives. And we will take one final breath here. Inhaling, fill up your stomach. And exhaling, let it go. Beautiful job. Bring your legs back up to center. Feet meet the ground, windshield wipe the legs back and forth. You can shake it out, let that go. Finding our final pose, Shavasana. Send your legs out long, arms at your side. Returning to where we started. Now this is the most important part of our practice. Make sure you finish off strong here. Close down your eyes. Release all of the control you've been cultivating. Shavasana is also known as corpse pose. Let us embrace the ultimate state of surrender and release. If you have any tension in your lower back, bring your feet to the mat and let your knees rest in on one another. Bring your attention to your breath. Take a deep breath in, feel the belly rise and exhale fully, allowing any remaining tension to melt away. Soften your entire body into the mat, releasing any need for control or effort. As you settle into stillness, become aware of the natural rhythm of your breath. Completely effortless, flowing in and out. 
With each exhale, imagine releasing any physical, mental, or emotional burdens, allowing them to dissolve into the earth. Surrender to this moment of complete relaxation, letting go of any striving, any doing. Allow your body to be held by the support beneath you, trusting that you are safe and supported. As we prepare to bring this practice to a close, let's take a moment to express gratitude for our bodies, mind, spirit. Acknowledge the effort and intention you brought to your practice today. Know that you can stay here. If this is feeling really great, I highly, highly recommend it. If you need to move on with your day, take a deep breath in, gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, slowly awakening your body. Take a big stretch, and when you're ready, roll onto your right side, resting there for a moment before gradually Rising to a seated position, we will meet in the middle of our mats. Carry this sense of surrender and inner peace with you as you continue with your day. Bring your palms together at heart center. Thank yourself again for showing up and taking care of yourself. Take this inner calm with you as you go about your day. And I bow to you in gratitude for our practice together.